Hey everybody, it's Troy. Hey listen, MAGA fascist voter intimidation tactics already on full display in some of these swing states leading up to the midterm elections, specifically in Arizona in Maricopa County where uh, Phoenix is located. We've had some folks uh, hanging out around uh, ballot drop-off boxes trying to intimidate people that are showing up there to legally drop off their early ballots that they got in the mail, um, dressing up in ski masks and tactical gear, filming the people that are dropping off their ballots in these ballot boxes, take pictures of their license plates, just full-on fascist tactics trying to intimidate people away from voting. We know that a lot of this comes from this faux documentary, 2000 Mules, which was recently released and it was produced by a disgraced uh, faux historian, Dinesh D'Souza, who's a convicted felon pardoned by Trump. In that film, he discusses uh, and attempts to prove that so so-called mules were uh, dropping off multiple fake ballots in these ballot boxes to try and swing the election for Joe Biden. It's been easily disproven. He tries to use uh, cell phone location technology to identify where these mules are, and it, it's just easily disproven. It's just complete crap. But obviously, as a result of that movie, we now have these MAGA fascist groups springing up, watching these, poll, uh, these ballot drop-off locations and trying to intimidate voters that are showing up there to try and drop off their ballots. Take a look at this. Yeah, we're right near Mesa Drive and Baseline. A deputy says that there were called to a report of two armed people in ski masks outside this ballot drop-off location in Mesa. Those two people left by the time law enforcement got here. Our crews, however, were here earlier. They caught video of two people appearing to be wearing tactical gear. I have been looking into this group for days, calling themselves Clean Elections USA. They were outside a drop box filming and recording early voters. Now they're part of a formal voter intimidation complaint. Outside the Maricopa County election headquarters, I found this group on Wednesday and wanted to see what they were doing. What are you guys doing out here? Um, uh, uh. You know what? We're we're just out here watching boxes. And uh, before I make any kind of statement or anything, I'd like to getting a yeah, getting a suntan, getting some vitamin D. So you're getting vitamin D, or you're watching the drop boxes? Both. Yeah. Okay. What organization are you with? Uh, it's Clean Elections USA. The man who told me his name is Tom wouldn't say who he was calling. He wasn't alone, so I tried asking this woman too. I'm not supposed to be having a discussion with anybody about anything. I'm just here. You're just Getting, here. Taking in the vitamin D. The two had cameras pointed towards the drop box location. They had a pizza, lawn chairs, and a dog with them sitting and watching. We started looking into the group, Clean Elections USA, who the man said he's with. According to the website, they're recruiting people across the country to watch ballot drop boxes in an effort to detect fraud. Let's go to Melody. Jennings, Melody. Earlier this week, Steve Bannon hosted a woman by the name of Melody Jennings, who says she's the founder of Clean Elections USA and put out a call for action. People are getting the word. They are showing up. Our people are showing up and gathering around boxes. The founder says they're going to find, quote, mules, referring to the film 2000 Mules. Person picking up ballots and running them to the drop boxes. A movie that makes unfounded claims that there was a coordinated effort across the country to harvest ballots for Joe Biden. What these mules don't understand is just because, you know, I, I put a fuzzy still shot up on True Social that doesn't look like anything. We're geo-tracking them. We've got uh, cameras on the back sides of them. On Monday, this early voter filing a complaint with election officials, saying he and his wife were filmed and photographed outside a Mesa Dropbox location and were accused by a group calling them a mule. After an investigation by the DOJ was launched, Clean Election USA founder posting publicly that they were not a part of Monday's intimidation report. 
but we found some other posts as well. These made the same day referenced in the voter intimidation complaint, 10-17-2022. Trumper Mel, as Jennings calls herself, posted a photo of what appears to be the same car, same voter, and same Dropbox location. Except this shot is from the ground and was posted before the surveillance video on the Dropbox was publicly released by officials in response to ABC 15's public records request. So this Clean Elections USA group, a fake MAGA fascist poll watching organization in 18 states, obviously inspired by this crap Dinesh D'Souza documentary that was fake, uh, fake evidence of ballot of illegal ballot harvesting in this documentary. But this group Clean Elections USA is operating in 18 states trying to intimidate voters as they're voting at mail in uh, at mail in uh, ballot drop-off locations. The interesting thing about that name is that in the state of Arizona, there is a citizens-created commission called the Citizens Clean Elections Commission, which is responsible for uh, voter information. They publish the voter information pamphlets. They they sponsor candidate debates. Uh, Their mission is to, you know, increase citizen participation in the election, uh, increase voter information about all the candidates totally legitimate organization, quite the opposite of what this faux Dinesh D'Souza organization is doing. Well, the, uh, the executive director of this of the Clean Elections Commission is trying to uh, is trying to block the Clean Elections USA group from using that name, knowing that it's going to cause a lot of confusion in Arizona and probably damage the reputation of the Clean Elections Commission. So that's interesting there. But just ongoing display of how Trump and the MAGA fascists have ruined uh, our electoral processes in the United States, uh, this could get really, really ugly. Uh, This amount of voter intimidation, you don't see this in the United States. It's absolutely disgusting. The level of fascism that's creeping in uh, to our society, creeping into our electoral processes, really all because of one man, because of Donald Trump. Uh, we've never had issues like this before. Mail-in, bo- mail-in balloting has been used since the Civil War. There's multiple states uh, that use uh, exclusively do mail-in balloting. They've never had any issues. And before Donald Trump, uh, it was largely Republicans that used mail-in balloting. It was never an issue with the Republican Party until Donald Trump said it was an issue. But Donald Trump and Dinesh D'Souza and all these other liars claiming that mail-in uh, balloting and these mail-in uh, these drop these ballot drop-off locations are being used by mules to swing the election with zero evidence they're literally just making this shit up as they go along it's highly disturbing uh, and it's just pure fascist creep into our society now it is legal for poll watchers and press and anybody that wants to monitor these drop-off boxes but to stay 75 feet away they have to be 75 feet away from the drop-off locations that's totally legal but if you see anybody uh violating that rule if they're coming up to you if they're trying to talk to you take pictures of your license plate take pictures of you if you feel intimidated at all call the police uh, let let the authorities know what's going on, the location, where these people are. Try to film them, get images of them. Uh, Arizona has already started, has already filed a complaint with the Justice Department. They're already building a case against these groups, these intimidation groups. So the wheels of justice are in motion. If you see if you see these folks, don't be intimidated. Drop off your ballot, film them, get information about them. Do not let them intimidate you. If you are, if you don't want any part of it and you just don't want to deal with any of that, you can still drop off your your mail-in ballot at a post office. Just take it. Don't even bother with the drop-off box. Just take it right to USPS. They will take your ballot. They will mail it in for you, and now your ballot will be counted. Do not be intimidated into not voting. That is what these people want. If you do not vote because of their intimidation, they have won. So fuck them. Let's vote. Let's vote in mass numbers and let's drive these fascists out. These fascist tactics are absolutely pathetic and we are not going to let them intimidate us away from voting. We are not going to let them take away our right to vote. We're going to show up. We're going to vote in incredible numbers. It just proves 
that they are not in the majority and the American people are sick of their bullshit. For Midas Touch, this is Troy. Remember, smash the subscribe button to keep supporting independent media. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged, you're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.